comes in a pill form, and some comes in an inhaler. Oh, I so know what one of those looks like. There's a big rectangle up here, and a little thingy with a hole down here, and then some other stuff. Yeah, and some other stuff. This part is a small bottle, and it's where the medicine goes. The bottle fits into the holder, which is the part that goes into your mouth. Explain how you make it work. Squeeze the medicine bottle down into the holder, push here and here. Oh, let me do this part. Mist shoots out of this part and into your mouth. Coolest thing ever. I agree. It's cool, especially when you know how to use it the right way. What? Stick it in your mouth and push down, right? Well, then the medicine would end up in your mouth and not in your lungs. It needs to go to your lungs. Is that a girl or a boy? It needs better hair. Hmm. Anyhow, it's very important to breathe in and squeeze your inhaler at the same time so that it gets all the way into your body. Like here, and here, and here. Well, what about this plastic tube thingy, like my friend's doctor gave him, to use with his inhaler? Yep, that's called a spacer. There are different types, but many look kind of like this. It can help make sure the medicine actually gets down into your lungs where it's needed. So if your doctor recommends one, it's a really good idea to use it. And because this inhaler is so important if you have an asthma attack, you should make sure that you carry it with you wherever you go. You could put it in your pocket or wear it as a necklace. You could have two and make super earrings or put some in your hair. Just don't forget. Oh, medicine was for Tini